Okay, how do I legally protect my bank accounts? Okay, so when somebody gets incapacitated, meaning they don't have the mental ability to know what's going on, or they pass away, bank accounts are one of the things that I see that gets affected the quickest, and it provides no funds for the family to do any of the things that they need to do to take care of that person with that bank account, right? So unless you have some type of plan in place, and I don't just mean beneficiary designation, which you can absolutely have on your checking account, your savings account, for whatever reason, most banks don't just preemptively do this when you open an account, but you can have beneficiary designations. They're usually called pay on death benefits, but you can have those set up on your bank accounts. But what that means is that if you are sick, Nobody can access your accounts. It's only pay on death. Meaning if you're in the hospital or in a coma or you have Alzheimer's or dementia or you have a stroke, right? There's some type of event that happens. Nobody can access your accounts if you're the only one listed on them because a beneficiary designation only comes in when you actually die. The other thing with that that I see is that if somebody is listed as a beneficiary designation, the banks will generally not release the funds until 40 days after they have passed away, which means you might not be able to access money from a bank account to pay funeral expenses. I can't tell you how many clients I've had that have come in that said they couldn't access any of the money because the bank wouldn't release it for 40 days, so they had to pay $20,000, $20,000 for funeral expenses, for cremation costs, for everything, for all of the end of life stuff, right? That's big stuff people do not think about having to come up with on their own, right? They were probably reimbursed from the estate once they were able to get access to it, but they had to actually come up with that money on their own. And a lot of times it's really hard for families to have to do in that situation. So protecting the bank account. So what I generally recommend is you have a revocable living trust and then you have this trust, you list your trust on your name of your bank account, right? So it's now in the name of your trust. And then if something happens to you so that your bank account is protected, whether you're incapacitated or you pass away, then your successor trustee, right? The person you've, you've nominated in your trust can then access your accounts, whether you're incapacitated or you've passed away because it's not in your individual name. It is in the name of your trust.